Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The new musical and Juliet has come to Broadway and we're here on the opening night, Pink Carpet. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? <laughs> I feel incredible. You know, the show brings me so much joy. It brings the audience so much joy. I'm happy to be open and to be celebrating finally. It feels incredible. It feels like a complete dream come true. I've been looking forward to this day for so long and it's finally here. Yeah. I am so excited. This is such an exciting night. I feel the energy. I am ready. Yeah. How excited are the two of you to be here tonight? Super excited. We have seen the musical in London and then I thought we've got to see it in America as well. Yeah. You know, it'll be different. This will be my second time. I'll probably see this musical about 20 times. Yeah. I love it because yeah. I love every song. How excited are you to be here tonight? Very excited. Uh, I, this is like the soundtrack to every ride that I teach, so I'm so excited. And there are amazing sounds from amazing pop artists, and Max Martin has his hand in literally every bop, hot track, hit that's been out in the past, I don't know, two decades. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, this iconic story. I get to play Juliet at the New York City Ballet, so getting to see a whole new fresh take is going to be, I'm really thrilled. I don't know much because I'm really good friends with Jennifer Weber, so she's kind of kept it secret so that I'll be surprised, but I, I just can't wait. The cast is phenomenal, and I mean, who doesn't want to hear those songs? Well, let's talk about how excited are you to be here tonight? I mean, my heart is just racing. This is better than drugs or penis. I like that. That's, that's the best quote of the night. I, I'm just being honest with yeah. you. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm, it's such a thrill to be here. Such a thrill to be celebrating artistry and performance and the lights. and the, It just, oh, I live for it. I, this is the show that I'm most excited about this season, quite honestly. I can't wait. It's about women's empowerment. We get to hear a woman's voice up front and center. I couldn't be happier to be here. I love Clever, yeah. I love musicals, yeah. I think the cast looks amazing, yeah. you know, I love Philippe Arroyo who's in the show, and, and so many of them, it feels like it's a really hip, young, uh, diverse cast, yeah. which I love, and uh, yeah, excited to hear these pop songs. I've heard there's music other yeah. than theater music that yeah. exists in the world, and I'm excited to hear some of it. <laughs> feels amazing. The last time that I was able to do something like this was for Diana the Musical, which yeah. was my Broadway debut, yeah. so I'm very excited to be doing this, supporting all of the girls in the cast. I'm really ecstatic to be here because um, I haven't been back in the theater world for quite some time. So to be in this New York energy, this theater energy, it's really such a treat and it's, it's very nostalgic for me. What have you enjoyed the most about writing and Julia? I think seeing the incredible performers on stage every night who just uh, make it their own and this cast is different from the London cast, which is different from our workshop cast, but it's so thrilling to be surrounded by so much talent all the time. So what attracted the two of you to say, yeah, I want to be a, on the producing team of this show? It's the story. I mean, it's so, like, it's different and it's so apt for today's world, like what, the world we're living in. I lo loved every part of it, the songs, you know, I mean, and the whole team involved. Everything from just the whole package was so interesting. Yeah, I think it was the energy of the show and how positive the sort of. I think we just love the idea that it's this positive, life-affirming show where we can all just go and let off some steam after so many years of being cooped up in our apartments and houses. What have you enjoyed the most about bringing this to New York for a New York audience? Well, it's uh, when the show plays here, it, it, the audiences respond in kind of this sort of completely different way. Like they laugh at moments that are a little bit different to what we've used to. And so we've really loved listening to the audiences and responding to that and kind of exploring little kind of new uh, little sprinkles on top to make it really feel like it's made for this city. And the audience here has just been incredible. Like I, I'm just in love with them and it's so exciting to watch them witness the show. The thing I've enjoyed most about working on Anne Juliet, honestly, it's the people. This company is incredible. I have loved every day of creating with them, of building with them, and of just making magic together. I mean, I kind of thought Max would like show up on opening night like this, but instead he's been involved in every step of the process, yeah. collaborating with all of us every step of the way, and it's like working with a, a living genius, so what could be better? 
Uh, what made me say yes to this show was the, the joy that's at the heart of it. The, it just, the music beats with joy and the story and the characters. You just want to lose yourself in it. And also, um, I think everyone can see a little bit of themselves in one of the characters on stage. And there were certain aspects of the story that just really sung close to my heart. I mean, Max's music spans about four decades, I think. So yeah. it's really nice to see the wide age range of people in the audience who may or may not know certain parts of his catalog and how it kind of brings people together, which is what you hope for musicals and theater. I was going to ask you, what is it like watching the audience react to this incredible musical? Well, on the first preview, I was watching it like this. And then as each pre preview goes on, I kind of relax, 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 until tonight where I'm really relaxed. Um, no, it's been amazing. Um, and just hearing the laughter and the cheers and the response is just, yeah, it's blown me away.